My name is Sarah Howitt and I'm the owner and party thrower at Former Future. We like to think of ourselves as past meets future or past meets present. Um, we're taking historical styles and recipes and reinventing them in a new way. A good example would be our salted caramel porter, which is an 1800s porter recipe that we then added the salt and lactose to to bring it into the modern day. And then as far as something special, we have a side project called Black Project. Those are once a month bottle releases. They're all done in a traditional Belgian way, so spontaneously fermented beer. And uh, that's something that we're doing that only a handful of breweries in the country are doing. So we wanted to connect with the customer in a different way and expand their experience to be more than just the beer. So environment, people, music, fun, all that stuff. So. I'd say the thing that gets me the most excited about waking up in the morning and coming to work every day is the fact that um, I get to work in an industry that is exciting and booming um, with people, other people in the industry that are also passionate about what they do. And um, to be able to create something and share that with others and bond over that and um, kind of improve the world um, in that way is really exciting. And I think just the diversity of this neighborhood, the history behind the buildings here, I think that's, that kind of lends itself to just a really neat place to start a business and to live and spend your time. I'm Darren Bowman. I'm the owner of Bowman's Vinyl and Lounge. The whole concept behind it is kind of the alternative to the record store and the alternative to the bar. The main concept is it's new and used records, full bar, happy hour, three to seven every day. And then you can also get your drunk impulse buying if you will feel necessary and buy yourself a new or used record too. I want it to be for everybody. I want people to come here and find something they want to listen to, not just punk rock, I don't know. I also think it's important to have a variety in, in this area, in our scene. The whole thing behind it is kind of blending two things that I'm good at apparently, music and drinking, I guess. But I, I wanted something different and it was kind of one of those things where every time I would go record shopping, I was like, man, this would be so much better if I just had a beer in my hand, you know? So I kind of just was like, well, I kind of want to start a bar, but I kind of want to do a record store. It's like, screw it, I'll just do both, you know? So it's kind of how I just did it. And I haven't really seen anything like it, so I thought maybe let's give it a chance. So here I am.